Hi guys, it's ASBYT and in this video we have an unboxing and first impressions of the OnePlus 9 5G. I have of course already, you may have already seen my video on the OnePlus 9 Pro. This is the 9, this is the standard, it's a cheaper model but it still looks really impressive so you may be interested in this. Let's cut the bullfrog and dive. So the standard retail packaging that you will receive has the OnePlus 9 text there, the co-developed with Hasselblad there of course Hasselblad you would have heard this a thousand times by now Swedish camera and lens manufacturer the phone's been made in conjunction together hopefully we will see some improvements in the camera from previous OnePlus devices you have the OnePlus logo there and on the back we have uh, some of the specs here we have uh, 12 gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigabytes of storage here on the winter mist model this is one of the colors of course of the standard nine it also comes in astral black and arctic sky as well so some lovely colors this year from oneplus let's check out the winter mist model so we lift it up and inside you have your phone of course we're gonna put that to one side and uh, we also have our manual array in here also in here we have uh, a silicon case does a job, I suppose. Not the best looking, but you can, of course, get additional cases as well if you so wish. Uh, we have a Type C to Type C charging cable. We also have our charging cable. Does it look like a cable to you? It's not a cable, Adam. All right, it's a it's a brick. <laughs> My brain's a brick. Uh, <laughs> that is a European charger, but they also sent me a UK. Uh, version there and it is of course warp charge 65t 65 watt fast charger and it charges your smartphone your oneplus 9 or 9 pro from 0 to 100 percent in just 29 minutes so under half an hour for a full charge is pretty epic indeed and the oneplus 9 also supports wireless charging not quite as quick as the 9 pro 15 watts wireless charging on here to the 50 watts on the OnePlus 9 Pro. Still, it has wireless charging, so you can't really complain too much when you're getting a cheaper device. Let's take this off. As you can see, is a pretty lovely color indeed. I mean, that is shimmery, shiny shimmery, woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> that is, uh, again, it's going to be one of those phones that is going to be personal preference in terms of colour. Do you like something that's glossy and shiny and, and out there? Because if you do, then this certainly fits the bill. I would possibly prefer something a little bit subtle, but no doubt about it, there's going to be loads of people that would l absolutely love this colour uh, and that glossy appeal as well. If your camera array at the top left-hand side, more on that later, you have your Volume rocker up and down here. You have your power button on the opposite side and you have your alert slider. Love a good alert slider. And then on the bottom, of course, you have your Type-C charging port, your speaker and your SIM port as well. Let's power this bad boy on so you can see the display as well because it is a little bit different to the OnePlus 9 Pro. And just for comparison, I will slide in alongside the OnePlus 9 Pro uh, and you can see the slight difference. We have the flat OnePlus 9, the slightly curved, almost 2D OnePlus 9 Pro. Um, slightly more bezel-less because of that so the 9 Pro does look slightly more futuristic uh, but it really is personal preference on which you would go for. Let me know in the comments would you go with the flat or would you go with the slightly more curved option. Now this flat display is 1080p in resolution but it does have 120 hertz which is great the fact that you are not skimping on that refresh rate at all and it is AMOLED as well it's a beautiful looking display I must admit for this sort of price range there isn't the same adaptive refresh rate here that we see on the pro so it isn't able to change the rate depending on what you're doing if you're looking at a photo for example and the picture stationary the pro can actually drop the rate down to just one Hertz this will stay at 120 Hertz all the time if that's the setting you go with or 60 for example so you should see better battery life on the pro model more information on that in my full review and that leads me nicely on to the other differences and similarities between this and the pro model starting with the camera we do have the same ultra wide angle and monochrome lenses but there is no telephoto lens here so anytime you do try and zoom in on a subject it will be digital only so the clarity won't be quite as good as the 3.3 times optical zoom 
on the Pro model. The primary lens is slightly different as well, being a 48 megapixel Sony IMX689 sensor to the 48 megapixel Sony IMX789 on the Pro. And also both phones have the capability to record video in 8K at 30 frames a second, but on the standard model, you don't get the high FPS, the frames per second that you can on the Pro model when shooting in 4K. You can shoot in 4K up to 120 frames per second on the Pro. The max here is 60. There's no IP rating on the standard model, although OnePlus do, like with previous devices, say there are water resistant elements, so you should be fine, but you won't be covered in the event of any damage. Outside of that, we do have the same Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 chipset, the same Android 11 software with Oxygen OS 11 over the top, providing new features such as Turbo Boost 3.0 memory, and the same Max RAM and UFS 3.1 storage options of 12 and 256 gigabytes, respectively. All in all, if you want the very best from OnePlus this year and are willing to pay for it, go with the Pro model. But if you prefer a flat display and aren't potentially massively interested in all the bells and whistles, the standard OnePlus 9 still offers a heck of a lot for less money. It's still a really great phone and very competitively priced. So that's it for now, but I'm gonna go away and test this phone and uh, compare it to the OnePlus 9 Pro over the next few days. And I will have my full reviews of both coming very soon. If you wanna see that content, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it. It helps, apparently. Who knows? Follow me on my other social media channels, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, etc. If you wanna stay up to date with all of the latest and breaking latest and greatest breaking tech information and you want to see behind the scenes content etc i love you and leave you i'll see you in the next one peace out